Hey everyone, Aqua Jigger here. I just want to let you know why I have not been um, posting very many videos lately or answering questions. The reason is I've been on the road making videos. I've been driving for about almost two weeks now, uh, camping, making videos, meeting up with other YouTubers, and I had a great time. And I'm headed home today. I might have one more hunt in store for me. It just depends. I'm pretty beat. <laughs> I think my wife misses me too. But anyway, I stopped in this little town here because it's a town that I remember reading about from my childhood. It's called Irwin, Tennessee. Now, Irwin, Tennessee is famous for... Well, let me show you something first. Cause this is a uh, feral cat colony. And by feral, what that means is just wild cats that aren't owned by anybody and what people do is they trap them and then they spay them and neuter them and give them little homes to live in and they feed them and they live out their lives uh, right around this little area look a cat coming down the tree over there it's a cutie it's nice that people do that ooh this is a Persian uh, she never really feed the cats of these type of colonies um, most people take care of them and they have certain things that they do for them uh, but anyway, this is a little feral cat colony in Irwin, Tennessee, and back to my story. Irwin is famous for, as far as I know, one thing. And it's really not famous, it's more infamous. <laughs> infamous. <laughs> have you ever heard the story of Mary, the murderous elephant? Well, I have. And I remember this as a kid reading about it um, in, like, Ripley, Believe It or Not or something. But back in the late 1800s, there was an elephant uh, in a circus here. Yeah, well, a circus nearby. And they were doing a parade down through the town. And the guy that was riding on the elephant's back was a new trainer, had no experience. And he hooked the elephant with some type of hook or something because it was trying to eat a watermelon. I don't know. I don't know the exact story. But anyway, the uh, elephant <clears throat> reached around with her trunk and snatched the guy off her back. And beat him into the ground, stepped on his head, did a bunch of very bad things to the elephant. Apparently, like, even kicked him out into the crowd, or the horrified crowd of onlookers. And, um, well, they decided at that point that Mary had to die. So, some guy pulled out a gun and started shooting her. Well, it didn't do any good because it's an elephant. He's probably shooting her with some, some little pistol or something. And, uh, but Mary had to die because she was murderous. <laughs> So they took her to this little town of Irwin, brought her to the rail yard, which is right behind the cat colony, and uh, they hung her by the neck. They hooked a big chain around her neck, and they had this giant, you know, railroad crane, and they lifted her up in the air by the neck, and the chain snapped, and she fell to the ground and like shattered her hip, and she's screaming in pain. So they, uh, and, oh, by the way, they had like a huge group of people watching, like 2,000 people, mostly kids. And so the kids are screaming and crying, so they hook the chain back around her neck. Heave her back up with a crane, and um, you know, she hung there until dead. Now, the reason this story is so vivid in my memory is because there's an awesome photograph of Mary the murderous elephant hanging by the neck from a, a railroad crane. And uh, I'd link it, except it might be copyrighted, so I'm not going to. But if you want to see it, look up Mary the murderous elephant. Irwin, Tennessee, and you'll see the picture. And it's really kind of a neat story. So I've been to Irwin, and I've seen where Mary was murdered. She was murdered. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and scoot, and I'll be home probably in about eight hours, if I don't stop to go digging. I'll probably stop to go digging one more time. I've got a couple places I'd like to check down this way. Anyway, I'll start getting these videos up. We've got some great videos, uh, some good uh, river treasure videos, some good metal detecting videos. Excellent. Well, I say excellent. For me, they were fun nature videos. And uh, they'll be up on the tube soon, so one by one, I'll get them out to you. I'm just sorry it took so long, and I, I didn't respond to any comments for the last week and a half, two weeks, or very few anyway. Uh, but I'll get back on track. Not like Mary the Elephant, but I'll get on track. We'll see you in a few days.